before marinas were developed, a lot of people used to keep their boats in small mud creeks in this type of, um, or in this location. Uh, so they were all um, very prone to damage and, and, and bad weather conditions, etc. We have a different type of customer in the summer. In the winter, it tends to be, um, again, on a uh, casual basis, but people go out fishing, so um, it doesn't really ease up. It just changes, the, the customers change. Porter's Head has grown dramatically uh, with the development of the marina and the housing development around it. A marina effectively is a safe haven for a, for a pleasure boat. It can only be regarded as joining part of a family working here. My name is Stephanie and I am the Administrative Secretary at the Marina here. So basically I look after all of the accounts with all of the boats. So we are um, pretty busy, we have quite a lot of customers here, we have about 230 boats. So I'm looking after all of the contracts for all of those boats that are resident with us. Hello, would it be possible to speak to Amanda please? Work changes, we have less visiting boats, so, so less people to, to deal with and speak to, but we are preparing ourselves for next year's um, uh, season, I suppose. So also, the boatyard starts getting busy, people want to take their boats out to, to get them ready for the new season, so I end up invoicing a lot more, um, just sorting out the running, basically, of, of the boatyard and bits and pieces. Um, the boys tend to take care of all of the lifting of the boats, so it's just the organisation of that. Every staff member that works here has to be able to run the lock and answer the radio. That is the, the main part of our job, really. But the, the lock, we all, it is essential that we all can lock boats in and out. There are times in the day where I'm in the office on my own, and so I have to be able to do everything that would be required up here. Right, well I'm uh, Simon Cant. Um, I've been down here for the last uh, 10 years. My job is a uh, senior berthing master, so that is a position, say, one down from the marina manager. We've just had a call from the uh, RNLI boats. They're ready for uh, one to be lifted out and one to be lifted in. A changeover of uh, lifeboats from the station. One's come in on uh, road transport. So we get some nice warm weather gear on, best as we can, because it's uh, below freezing outside. Get the keys up together and get the machines uh, up and running. Yeah, there's a, there's a set sequence really to lifting a boat. Uh, a lot of it is just experience. Uh, you do your uh, pre-machine checks just to make sure there's uh, uh, no potential hazards from your lifting equipment. Uh, you have a chat with the uh, skippers of the, uh, the boats. You establish uh, where the lifting points are on the vessel uh, and you uh, establish uh, a little plan beside uh, how you're going to uh, uh, actually do the lift. You have to take into account things like uh, wind conditions so that you work with the wind. Uh, so once you've taken everything into account, uh, uh, then it's pretty well a straightforward lift. We lift uh, a multitude of vessels, uh, narrowboats, white beam narrowboats, barges, motor cruisers, Yachts, schooners, catches, all forms of yachts, long keelers, thin keelers, uh, angling boats, small MFVs, hobblers, which are people that work for the um, uh, different shipping companies and uh, local uh, docks around. So there's no limit to the type of boat that we can lift. Our limitations really are 
Uh, they have to be under 35 tonnes, which is our maximum lifting capacity for our machine. Uh, and they really need to be under 75 foot in length. And they have to be uh, within the uh, width of the uh, lifting dock uh, itself. Yeah, there's uh, lots of limitations on uh, lifting boats. Time of day, uh, basically it dictates by uh, darkness. Uh, uh, to make it a safe operation, you have to be able to see thoroughly what you're doing. Uh, the boat to lift driver, he relies solely on uh, a banksman, someone that's assisted him to be able to walk around the vessel, checking things as the boats are lifted all the time. Right, we just had a transfer of uh, lifeboats. We just had uh, uh, one come in by road uh, on the uh, lorry there. Uh, we've lifted that now uh, into the water. Uh, they're just doing a transfer of the crew and swapping the boats over with another one that's come in by uh, sea, come through the uh, marina lock. Uh, she's tied up over the far side at the moment. So uh, as soon as they're sorted out with uh, the one we just launched, they'll bring the other one back and that'll go back uh, back to the RNLI station uh, on the uh, lorry. Uh, freezing weather um, can cause you problems, uh, things slipping, uh, such like. Uh, and uh, the wind, the wind is uh, very crucial, uh, depending on the size of the boat again. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, we're reliant really on uh, muscle power uh, to get the actual vessel into the slings. Once it's in the slings, then the machine can do the work. But up until that point, you have to be able to hold whatever vessel you're trying to get in there against the wind, using warps, uh, to manoeuvre it into position. Well, vessels... Uh, would need to be lifted for all sorts of different reasons, uh, from the obvious things such as taking on water, also vessels need to be uh, serviced, much like a car. Uh, and like a car, you take it to the garage, they put it on a ramp and uh, check everything out. So again, uh, we lift them ashore, chop them up, put yachts in cradles, motorboats on stands, uh, and they can be serviced that way. Um, the variety, I think, you never, every day is different, you're never doing, whilst you're doing the same sort of work, um, it, it's different each day. It doesn't go dead in the winter, it slows up a little bit, but um, there are some days when, when it can be busier in the winter than it is in the summer. The marina uh, work itself uh, varies season to season. Um, obviously the summer season is the, the time when uh, uh, all the customers with their boats are out enjoying themselves, using their boats, travelling around, people coming here that aren't based here visiting boats and vessels. Um, so there's two, as the seasons change, the, the role changes as well. So we, we go from being um, uh, the emphasis on locking boats in and out uh, dealing with customers to uh, uh, winterisation of boats, um, winter maintenance. Obviously, a lot of boats uh, still come ashore for six months of the winter. Excuse the radio there. I'm going to have to get that one free. Station calling for the keys.